Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. I'm Ben and today I'm back again with episode 4 of me playing Verville. This is my newest town um, at the moment and I'm curious because I had a couple of issues with a few mods uh, just recently in my last episode. So I'm curious whether things are working out a little bit better this time so last time i started to expand my city over here i want to make this here like my new first real true downtown area and yeah i also expanded a couple of things during my last episode so if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that i'd really appreciate it um because then you, you're you getting an update as soon as I'm publishing a new episode of this series or any other upcoming tutorials and videos regarding City Skylines and other City Builder games. Mm. I also built, uh, built in like this recreational area, uh, this nature reserve park here. Um, same for this one. And yeah, this episode, well, last episode, I already thought about maybe expanding this highway to down here, but I'm not yet sure about it, to be honest. If the expansion shouldn't be like here or maybe at some total, totally different um, place. <coughs> so I'm, yeah, curious how things will go this time. Um, yeah, so let me begin and let me have a look whether I'm able, so I can see already that the traffic manager mod hasn't been installed properly, so I'm just checking on my, um, yeah, probably the traffic manager is gone for now so i'm having a couple of traffic issues actually um most likely here and there um as well as in this like commercial zone over here i can show you in a couple of minutes because the game or the traffic will very soon pile up here and currently i'm not able to prevent people from parking in the roads um at the curbside so I'm not really happy about that, but yeah, there's nothing I can do about it right now. Um, so I'll continue building a few more zones like here. And yeah, I want to make sure that I'm using the available space as best as I can. Um, so I'm curious, I need to, I usually I'm taking, making sure that the space between one um road and the next road is at least at a distance of 12 squares but i think with this current layout it doesn't really work that well yeah but we'll see i think i can still um work myself around it because whenever i'm about to upgrade these roads here in the middle um i think at that stage things will look a whole lot different um than they are right at the moment in my town so i'm just curious where i'm putting in some offices 
and maybe some high-rise residentials even though the demand isn't very high at the moment and yeah I also want to make sure that I have enough like space for a new um, elementary school <laughs> so people are currently not moving and that's totally fine um, not yet but <laughs> that's great Schwarzenegger they made it very very European or even German I would like to say that's, <laughs> that's something different not bad not bad guys <laughs> yeah however things are kind of running smoothly here um, in my town 36 I'm going down here add in a few more residential zones here um, and I'm trying to add in yeah that's something I expected to happen actually because loads of people are moving in here um, so probably I want to have like a commercial zone even though it's sometimes not a very good idea to have commercial zones right next to your like main road um, because they are usually causing a lot of traffic sorry I'm just deleting that because I am still want to follow my 24 the multiple of 12 um, in distance a rule that I personally set here for my new city build because this is the idea deal distance between roads um, as far as I experienced it and too far yeah I'm just thinking about expanding this area even further like down here And up there, I just have to make sure that I have my water pipes running through this part of town as well. Just to make sure all parts are supplied properly. I'm closing that up here and now I want to have an additional district like here with local produced goods so I'm putting down this commercial zone here and then yeah I'm not take, not really eager to put down any like tourism attractions yet because currently they wouldn't be very helpful for the traffic situation in my town and also some like emergency services and 
yeah, I'm not adding in a doctor's office because that's not really important. And I quickly have a look whether it would be helpful to have a couple of more office zones here. And maybe them some more commercial zones here as well. Then probably my town will soon run into issues with um, the lack of skilled workers or like workers then that can actually work in offices so I'll need some kind of university really soon okay so I'm using like a square of 36 40 Eight. coming back here <coughs> and I'm closing that down I think that's that's good at least for now it will be absolutely okay and I'm zoning that out as a university zone here. Very roughly for the moment, campus area. And this one will be a bit more limited. And I'm putting down my first university area in this town it's going to be really nice and attractive here so got a few dormitories Holly Poly Technical Institute. So I'm putting down some dorm rooms here. The groundskeeping office, the book club. And what else can I build right now? I can't build anything else. Except for maybe down the line a few more path is very nice um, so I would like to put down something like a park mm, so I'll try to modify the zoning a little bit for that purpose I 
this is fine. Uh, also, make sure that this is okay. I'll put down a small park area here. Vermont Hill Park. I'll maybe extend that even further. In a little while, let's see how the um, how the university area actually uh, develops. That's nice. And I want to have a parking lot right in front of this building. So maybe I'm going to use that area as a parking lot. That should be fine. By the way, the reason why I'm putting down such a huge parking lot here is um, that this will come in definitely handy at a later stage in the game, um, especially for the university area, um, because that way I'll be able to like use that space for um all sports activities and areas that will be included over time in this university area so i'm absolutely happy when when i can utilize such a parking spot really for two different like purposes and yeah that looks already quite beautiful here mm, just wondering okay you don't have water here of course you don't but you'll get it no worries don't want you to follow so all buildings are supplied with water i do have 
an attractiveness of maybe already enough. I'm not sure. Giving 50k student health care. Yeah, visiting scholars. I think that's something I'm going for at the very beginning. So the attractiveness currently, I haven't reached the full level yet. Um, so maybe, yeah, let me think what I can put down in addition to that study hall, the grants keeping services. So I'll squeeze one in here. Now let's see whether that changes. Yeah, it changes a couple of things, but not enough yet. Um, maybe another dormitory. I'll need that anyway at a later stage. So I'm not worried about putting it down already. Because I'll need it anyway. 220. So at the moment, there is not really a need for people to use um, this kind of parking lot as they are allowed to park almost anywhere in town. Twelve. of 36 so I'm putting down a few more commercial zones here because I still have a high demand regarding that and as long as um, I don't have that demand filled doesn't really help my town to flourish. It's looking quite nice here. I don't want to have any football stadiums here. But maybe a statue of wealth. I'm going to put that down here. Just wondering where to put down this here. Maybe there.
so many people are leaving this highway here, going, where are they going? Yeah, they are all heading to this new, like, zone here, this new town or part of town, as it seems to be really crucial. And I need to take care of my garbage situation here. So I need a couple more recycling pollution 25. Um, okay, curious. Can I already use that? Yeah, I could. So that's maybe the alternative. It's just gonna be a bit noisy, but that's fine. I need two of those facilities here. And maybe another one. Uh, not not that close to the park. Maybe one here. And probably... Yeah, let's see. I'm just deleting you here. That's fine. And then I also want to take care of my wastewater thing so I have the eco treatment plant okay the stove has some pollution going on which is something I don't like to have really maybe I can put you guys just down there, connect you to the water network. And you will for sure need some like power supply, but I could move this one up there. And then you should be working well and nicely. Let me check. Yeah, so they seem to be connected now. So I could delete both eco water outlets right now and start producing more pollution over here. I'm wondering whether, oh yes, I have the crematoriums, which is nice to have, absolutely nice to have. So you're supported. You are supported. Just putting down some water pipes again here to make sure that all buildings are supplied properly. And I also want to take care of like this here. And then I can finally empty my cemetery. Because that's a bit of an annoyance to be honest, because it's wasting a lot of space in my town and it's yeah, filling up 
over time so I would have to organize or put in another cemetery anyway but that way things are working a little bit better usually and yeah putting down even more commercial zones here because right now the demand seems to be absolutely high regarding commercial zones so I want to make sure that I'm not like ne neglecting any demand here because I need more residents better sooner than later and having a nice commercial district isn't that bad at all yep fine Yeah, just need to have a couple more visitors here. That's fine. That's totally fine. some more high-rise residential zones so that's filled up really really quickly oh wow Whew. amazing that's really amazing yeah the traffic is still killing me so i'm i'm trying to load the traffic manager back into oh what's this electric roads mod um yeah i'm trying to get the traffic manager back as soon as possible Okay, fine. Yep. So I'll come back to you, to you in a couple of minutes again. Um, I'm just restarting the game, saving this one here, and I'll be right back. So see you in a couple of seconds. So guys, um, now I'm finally back again in this episode here. Uh, in the meantime, I took care of a couple of things like, um, yeah, something you'll be able to see very quickly uh, in a short while. I was able to sort my problems out that I've had with a couple of plugins. Um, this was initially caused by the Harmony mod. And yeah, I think those guys from Harmony Mod, they already updated um, all their dependencies and things like that. So it's working really, really nicely now. And again, which makes me totally happy, I'm having my traffic manager 
again, <laughs> which will be definitely helpful in this city. Unfortunately, it in the meantime everything was deleted. Um, but uh, this will help me sorting a couple of things out or a couple of issues out that I had in the meantime. And again, I'm having all those additional roads that I had in the very beginning. Um, so I definitely have to like upgrade things like those roundabouts into a three lane um, version at least uh, regarding everything that's not below any bridges and uh, yeah kind of take care of this um, roundabout first so the following part of this episode will be most likely about me changing and upgrading and sorting uh, those intersections out um, so I think it's it's a good opportunity for me to speed up this process for you because you don't have to well like stick to it and watch every little step that I'm taking here um, it's just causing a lot of wait time for you so I'll speed it up for you and be right back so that you can see how things are finally working out and whether the traffic management made sense or whether it didn't make sense. So I'll be right back for you. Thanks for staying tuned. And yeah, just in case you haven't followed me here yet on YouTube, uh, I'd be really happy if you could on one hand leave me a like and on the other hand subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and yeah. Just stay tuned and watch me sorting those intersections out. Thanks. So before continuing with that, I still have to um, like meet the current demands for more commercial zones in my town so i'm adding in like a few more commercial buildings here and i'm just making some just creating some more opportunities for my, my citizens or the um, shops and businesses to move in to my town here. So that's looking fine. Also, at a certain stage, I wanted to put down something like a park, maybe here in the middle, would probably a really be a very nice spot for a bigger park. Oh, no, come on, really? I already had these issues. Okay. Oh, there is no bridge needed, believe me. So that shouldn't be a bridge at all. Okay. Fine. So I'm adding in one park district here. Um, like a new one. Uh, 
um, this or parks like that, um, I'm usually very happy to include these um, in my town because it helps keeping on the one hand um, commercial zones separated from like residential zones which is what well, I would like to say very important for the health of citizens as those commercial zones usually cause a lot of a lot of issues with so I was just adding in like a park here um, after taking care of some of the lane managements here um, the thing is um, I just want to make sure that like commercial zones and I already expanded here for future commercial zones because the demand is really high still um, so I just want to make sure that like commercial zones are never too close to residential zones because um, those sometimes cause a little bit of what I would like to say trouble for um, citizens to live close by um, it's sometimes uh, due to the noise people are getting sick and that's something I don't like to happen at all to be honest and that's the reason why I'm using park areas or bigger parks as a like um, a separation between um, parks and commercial zones and other districts. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm still running into issues here. That's unfortunate. Oh, shoot, really? This really should not be happening. This is ridiculous. I don't know. It's still not working fine here. But maybe I can reconnect that part of my... Yeah, for some reason, for whatever reason. Um, so this is working nicely now on just connecting the edges of those entries with a fence that I'm putting in so that citizens can't or won't cross um, like crazy this park area cars won't cross it for whatever reason so I'm just quickly closing up my park area here um, and I'm building like of course again as I always try to do it uh, like a few cafes here I want to have a few restrooms in every part and here as well one info booth right to the main gate next to the main gate then then 
um, chess and checker boards and also having a plaza here and probably another plaza over there. So I'm letting things run very quickly for a little while before. So I already added in like this here. I think water should be there. There shouldn't be an issue with that. And the biggest problem I'm having is actually with this crossing here. So I'm trying to figure out how this is set up. I want you to go, you to wait, you to wait. And I need this crossing to be uh, no like thank you. And you can move in whenever the space is there. Um, so now it's piling up one crossing later, actually. So you may move in at any given time and you have to wait, you have to wait and you go through, you go through, you have to wait, you go through, you have to wait. And I'm disallowing all this parking shenanigans here because that's really bothering a lot. Doesn't really help my city to expand properly. Sorry for for forgetting about the day and night cycle speed here again. So that's good. Just allowing people to park. No parking allowed here. And I think I have to disallow parking over there as well. Because otherwise, those roads are very soon packed with cars and other things. And I want my bus lanes to be free to go without any having to worry about any parked cars. That's the reason why I'm usually doing that in almost every city or town I build. I still need like something like a nice solution for um, park houses. I have found a couple of them but yeah, maybe I'll find a good solution for that in the future. Like here, like there. So that looks good. This is looking good. Unfortunately, these settings are always getting updated as soon as you're like adding in a new side road or changing anything regarding the road layout. So these no parking signs, they won't stick with your 
set up over time so you might have to redo those things a couple of times during the whole process um, so we are getting closer to the university district which is nice That's perfect. Yeah, for now, it's good. I'm still trying to figure out things here. Maybe I should upgrade Just let me quickly think about it I could change this road To a one-way road I was again making a huge mistake here. Like this here. It's good that I haven't considered letting the game run for that time here. So Lafayette Gardens was soon upgraded. Very, very quickly upgraded to something way higher and way better. So I'm adding in a few gazebos for now. And some of the other ones as well. just to make sure that I can reach a certain level with my park here. So from regarding the entertainment level, it's um, way more than required. Just moving you by a little bit. And then I can add in a few trees here that make it look like a bit more natural here. And the size of the brush. also want to get these huge trees removed because those are a bit too big for my town here. So I reached the level of 30k citizens now which is good. So people are still moving in which is something I'm honestly a bit surprised about but it's good that they are because I haven't taken care a lot about residential zones during the past couple of um, minutes or hours and I haven't seen any like progress with my uh, commercial demand here even though I'm adding in way more commercial zones already and this is like bothering me a lot this is like ridiculous I have to 
upgrade that road underneath to maybe a four lane road. Just let me check whether I can squeeze that in. Yeah, I could. Of course, I'm cheating a little bit here by using the anarchy mod, but it helps with sorting things out for the traffic. Yeah, so that's working a little bit better and it helps with having this traffic not pile up that much. Of course, it's going to pile up here, um, but that's something I can probably take care of with a prop lane management. And you guys may either go straight or to the left. And you give way, give way, go ahead. And it's pretty clear that there shouldn't be any like residence I'm just checking this here because yeah I want you guys to just move in And I think this should solve most of my traffic problems already. At least I hope so. No, it's piling up here now. Um, so let me check this here. No crossing, you may mo move in, you may move in. No crossing for residents, well, why not? And then I'm also doing some lane management here. Maybe I should upgrade this to, oh, it's already solved, isn't it? Yeah, it's already solved, basically. That piled up a little bit, but this will be gone in a very short time, I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe I can also upgrade this to a four lane like this here. That should work nicely here and there and there. Yeah, because then I could like organize things a little bit different here. You go either there or there. You go there. You only move straight and you only go there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's something I definitely have to take care of <laughs> in my next episode. But for now, I think I'm going to be good here. 
then the last thing I'm doing or taking care of this episode is expanding my forest wood production to a bit wider area like ooh, oh a patch of forest is burning here no good Oh, it was using the bridge thingy. I don't need a bridge thingy here. So let me upgrade this industry. and add in two huge like areas for building That's good. Wood chip storage, sawdust storage. I think we're I think we're good here. This area. But it's getting really huge and I need definitely some water here. Oh and talking about water. I wanted to do one last thing. which is upgrading these water towers to something a bit more efficient like those bigger ones here. Just letting you run. Go remove this and put in another one here and then moving it a bit down because otherwise it looks kind of unrealistic so yeah i think this is it for me ben playing in my city of rural today um yeah i would like to thank you for joining me again this time here on my city builders channel on youtube i really appreciate any likes follows and subscriptions to my channel so if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing that um, i'm very much looking forward to that um, yeah and let's stay in touch thanks a lot have a good one bye bye mm -hmm.